to secure some wins, obviously. They're kind of falling a bit in the rankings at 23, so, you know, a win today would be really crucial for them to stay in those rankings, as we discussed earlier. And as we mentioned, USC just hanging on to its spot in the rankings, sitting at number 23. The Trojans have a 17-8 and record, 9-6 and in conference play, while the Ducks have a slightly better mark, 19-5 and to go along with a, an 11-4 and mark in Big Ten play. See Gray Gosnell getting her name called out for the Trojans, hitting the starting lineup. A little bit of an interesting starting lineup for the Trojans. It's Leah Ford, Tyra Ariel, Allie Batenhorst, Gala Trubent, Gray Gosnell, Madison Peach, and Mia Tuaninga. So no Jaden Livings, nor Adanya Faumuina. But there goes Mia Tuaninga who is rising up the record books for the Trojans. She does have a shot at setting the all-time career assist mark, but it might take postseason play for her to reach that illustrious spot in the USC record books. We're moments away for a matchup between the Trojans and the Ducks. Yet another ranked on ranked matchup here at Galen Center. That's what you get with Big Ten Volleyball. It's ranked on ranked matchups all the time. Absolutely, should be really exciting game here today. Obviously, as you mentioned, missing kind of two key players from that starting lineup. It'll be interesting to see how that impacts the Trojans today as Oregon has a very solid squad coming in off a great win against Northwestern. Well, the last time USC beat a ranked team, it was here at Galen Center. The Trojans took down the then number 12 Minnesota Golden Gophers in four sets. That was on October 5th. Oregon currently sitting at number 11. So it's not out of the question that the Trojans can pull off an upset. But Oregon is led by a stellar head coach, Matt Ulmer, in his eighth season with the Ducks. 161 and 74 record at the helm. He's been churning out pro players, churning out NCAA tournament appearances. And the Ducks having one of their best seasons in recent memory. That's six NCAA tournament appearances for Ulmer. And again, this is his eighth season. So six out of seven is a pretty impressive mark. Likely going to hit seven out of eight at the end of this regular season. Coming down to the wire. Should be interesting to see who wins this first new look Big Ten. But for now, it's the Trojans versus the Ducks. First to serve for Oregon. It'll be Michelle Olobete. Senior outside hitter. And we are off. Here comes the serve. Received by Batenhorst. Gosnell heading it towards the net. Batenhorst will get a chance. Good touch there by Morris. Long rally to start this one off. Ariel dug up there, but that will hit the floor. Good attempt there by Morris. And the Trojans get the first point of the game. Mackenzie Morris now just one dig away from hitting career dig number 2,000. Tuaninga hits it over there. Tuaninga keeps it alive. Peach will hit it back towards the net. Batenhorst with an attempt, and that'll hit the floor. Trojans go up two to nothing. Strong start for USC. Oregon has a great mark. When it wins the first set, Trojans will want to take this one and an ace for Mia Tuaninga. One of the best servers on this USC squad. And she gets the first ace of the game. Definitely a great confidence boost for this USC team to you know start off here so strong against this solid Oregon squad. Tuaninga tosses it up again, nearly gets another ace, but a good dig by Oregon. And that will go USC's way. No deflection there. Matt Ulmer, the Oregon head coach, thought there was one on that left side. Immediately pulls out the challenge card. So we'll have a review early in this first set. As it stands, the Trojans lead four to nothing. There was an Oregon hit there 
That did go out of bounds as we'll get another look at that one. Likely saying that Batenhorst touched it. Saw the celebration there from Noemi Glover. She's the one who had that hit. I don't know what you saw, Pickle. I From that angle, I couldn't really see yeah, if there was a Yeah, definitely hard to tell from that angle. Be interesting to see what they come up with here. Also, interesting, you know, calling a challenge so early on in the first set. Especially with the Trojans up three to nothing. Even if USC wins this challenge, ooh, that's gonna be close. Looks like it did not hit Batenhorst from this angle. I could see it going either way. Would have gone off that left hand. But this could be a big moment in the first set. Trojans are up three to nothing. And they could go up four to nothing if they win the challenge, or it could be three to one. So even if it's an unsuccessful challenge for Oregon, it might slow down the momentum of USC. So a strategic call there from Oregon head coach Matt Ulmer. We'll have to wait and see. This is a long review, one of the longer reviews we've seen. Definitely, and that just speaks to how close of a call it's going to be here. Well, we mentioned Tuaninga's service ace earlier. She currently sits at number four on the all-time service aces list to go along with their spot on the assist list. So she's trying to reach that mark. April Ross currently has the number three spot in the service aces list at 161. So Mia Tuaninga inching closer to that mark as we get another look in slow-mo. It's really hard to tell from that angle. It didn't look like the ball changed direction, but it was already going towards that spot anyway. Review is still going on. <laughs> Man, these players warm up. They play four points and now they're just having to wait and tire out a little bit. As the review goes in favor of USC, no deflection is the ruling, and the Trojans go up four to nothing here on the number 11 team in the country. What an incredible start for this USC team, especially given they're coming off a three set sweep loss. Tuninga will get the ball again, slings it up and hits it over, but that will go behind the back line. Point number one for the Ducks. So even though it was an unsuccessful challenge from Oregon, it might have slowed down the momentum of the Trojans and the Ducks get on the board. Mackenzie Morris, the senior libero at the back line. Peyton Horse the first to touch it. Tuninga to Ariel, slight block there. Oregon on the offensive and Gala Trubit not able to hit that one back up. Two straight points for the Ducks. We get a, another yeah, look at that here, hit. Just a powerful kill on the Oregon side. I mean, maybe that break gave them some time to kind of regroup as a team and really kind of get their stride going here. That was Mimi Collar on that. Now USC trying to get an attack here. Batenhorst tries to play with some misdirection, but there are a pair of Ducks to block it. Now it's a, only a one point game, three straight points for the Oregon Ducks. Yeah, and Oregon as a team is known to have super strong blocking, so that's something that USC is gonna wanna keep in mind, especially on the offensive side. Came into this one as second in the Big Ten in blocks per set. And there goes another one. Mia Madison Peach gets blocked on the left side. Now we have a tied first set, 4-0 a scoring run for the Ducks. All the momentum that USC had at the beginning seems to be gone. Morris hits it over. Gosnell the first to touch it. Baton Horse with a chance. Dug up there by the Ducks. Trubin will set it back up. Baton Horse gets blocked, but it's staying alive. Long rally here in set number one. A good hit there by Mackenzie Morris. Baton Horse with a chance. And that one will go out of bounds. Point goes to USC, but on that point, Mackenzie Morris got her second dig of the game and is officially in the 2000 Career Digs Club. And another look at that hit from Allie Batenhorst. But what an impressive career for Mackenzie Morris of the Oregon Ducks. Allie Batenhorst, the first to serve it. 
And Batenhorst not able to save that one. Set number one tied back up at five apiece. As we get a look at Mackenzie Morris just notching her 2,000th career dig. Transfer from Kansas State in her first season with the Ducks. Tuninga puts it up. Oregon on the offensive now. Another long rally here at Galen Center. And the Ducks get another block to take the lead at 6-5 to five here in the first set. Yeah, we can definitely expect Oregon to kind of continue this momentum with their blocking as we just see here in the replay. I mean, they reached double-digit blocks for the 10th time this season versus Northwestern recently. So they are not slowing down with their blocking. Madison Peach able to get it past the blockers of Oregon. She will not be denied there. The southpaw for USC. It's the serve back in favor of the Trojans. Maybe Tyra Ariel. First set knotted at six. Ariel barely gets it over the net. Big hit here, and that'll find open floor. Mimi Collar with yet another kill. She was the Big Ten Player of the Week and AVCA Player of the Week. The week that Oregon played USC had an impressive performance against the Trojans. 17 kills for her. Gets that set off. Batenhorst will knock it over. Morris the first to touch it. Collar. And Tuaninga not able to save that one. Yet another kill for Collar. And Collier with 17 kills the first time USC and Oregon matched up. Already three kills today. And Peach not able to save that one. A service ace for Collier. Now a 9-6 lead for the Ducks. 3-0 scoring run out of Oregon. Collier hits it over. Trubin the first to touch it. And that will go as a kill for Famwina. Adanya Famwina hits the Trojans back on the board. Breaks up a 3-0 scoring run. Now into the game, Paisley Douglas. The true freshman from Omaha, Nebraska. This is now her 14th set played for USC as a freshman. Didn't see her in the early goings of the season. Oregon on the offensive, but the Trojans able to handle it. Famwina sends it behind the back line. Allie Batenhorst looking to the bench. Maybe thought there was a deflection, but no challenge called here for USC. Ducks take a 10 to seven lead. Maya de los Reyes on to serve. Douglas the first to touch it. Leah Ford with an attempt and on the deflection, the Trojans get the point. We saw on that play, it was Paisley Douglas, one of the Trojans to touch it earlier this season when she hadn't played in a game. Brad Keller really complimented Douglas's job on the defensive front shows it off there but there is a challenge here at Galen Center so a couple of early challenges in the first set we'll have to take a look at that replay Trojans got the point off the deflection yeah and I think all of these challenges early really speak to kind of what we're about to see in this game two really competitive teams a really competitive matchup I mean, we're seeing USC go on this big run in the beginning and then kind of on the other side, Oregon kind of take over. We're seeing Mackenzie Morris here just hit 2,000 career digs, as you mentioned earlier, Thomas. Just really solid play on both sides. We're seeing Oregon kind of come ahead here, but it should be really exciting to see how the rest of the set plays out as we're about halfway through thus far. Mackenzie Morris with four digs on the day, so she's up to 2,002 career digs. Again, an impressive performance from her. An important piece of this Oregon defense adding to her career accolades. 
Just going to look at the Trojan huddle. USC hearing from the assistant coaches. Brad Keller giving away to his assistant coaches. From that replay angle, really hard to tell. When we were live, it did seem that there was a deflection, but the point goes in favor of Oregon. The officials ruled in favor of the Ducks. Maya Dulos Reyes back to serve again. The Ducks have an 11 to seven lead here in set number one. Douglas again with that defensive effort. Famwina gets it past the blockers. Point number eight for the Trojans. Famwina wasn't in the starting lineup for USC, but already has two kills to tie her with Tyra Ariel for the most on this Trojan squad this afternoon. Gray Gosnell back to the service line. Dug up there by Oregon. Ducks now on the offensive. Trubin with a dig to her name. Batenhorst with a chance. Gets it past the blockers. Trojans have done a good job recently. The last couple of points, hitting it into the blocker's arms, but sending it out of bounds. Another look at that hit. Yeah, and that's something that kind of comes with blocking. Like, you never know where that, like, deflection is going to lead you. And even if you have super strong blocking, there are ways to get through that for the Trojan side. As there's a service error there from Gosnell. The Ducks get the serve back. Already with a 12-9 lead, Kristen Klein. The redshirt freshman from Stanfield, North Carolina. Will record a service error of her own. So back-to-back -back service errors, one from USC, one from Oregon. And now Gala Trubin will head to the service line. And a third service error in a row. Neither team can seem to get it over the net. Yeah, consistency with serving is going to be key for both of these teams. I mean, those points add up, and it can make or break a set. And well, Bete hits the serve over for the first time in a little while for either team. Oregon keeping it alive. Big hit here by Collier. Point number 14 for Oregon. Already four kills for Collier. And we're only in the first set. Oh, well, Bete knocks it over. Douglas to Trubin. Batenhorst gets a kill. A little bit of misdirection there. Batenhorst, a hard hitter, just tries to tap it. And it's a successful move there for the transfer. Yeah, Batenhorst is a key leader on this USC team. Had eight kills in the recent match against Wisconsin. It was her first game without double-digit kills for Batenhorst. She's been really impressive this year. And the Trojans, off the deflection, lose the point. Timeout on the court now as Oregon has mustered a 15-11 lead here in the first set. Mimi Collier has four kills. And on the defensive end, Mackenzie Morris with four digs to put her over 2,000 career digs between Oregon and Kansas State. We will take a quick break here on Big Ten Plus. Oregon leads 15 to 11. At the University of Southern California, we like to think big. We live for big moments, big goals, big inventions, big research. We embrace big stages. We relish big screens. We love riding big waves. We know our way around big games, too. Thanks to big names whose big journeys began with us. Now we're ready for the latest big chapter of our story. The Trojans in the Big Ten. Yep, we're thinking the same thing.
Welcome back to Galen Center. The Oregon Ducks lead 15 to 11 in the first set. USC had some momentum at the beginning of the frame, but the Ducks have stormed back and now lead. Mackenzie Morris now behind the service line. They're gonna spark a run. Batenhorst with the reception. Ariel gets blocked, but Gosnell able to keep it alive. Batenhorst with an opportunity, but Morris kept it in play. Trubin sends it out of bounds though on an attempted dig. A long rally there, but the Ducks will go up by five. Mackenzie Morris back yet again. Batenhorst with the dig. Batenhorst will get the attempt and notches the kill. Breaks up a mini run for Oregon. Yeah, Ali Batenhorst up to four kills so far this game, leading this USC squad, and here she comes up to serve. Knocks it over the net. Morris with the dig. Oregon with a really good hit there. No Trojan even had a chance at stopping that one from Noemi Glover. Now Isabel Patterson, the redshirt freshman, heads to the service line. Ducks up by five in the first set, a pivotal first set for both squads. Tuninga sets up Peach. Morris with yet another dig. Collier gets it over, but the Trojans are there. Peyton Horse just has to knock it back. A long rally here. Famwina likes the deflection and scores the point for USC. Yeah, Famwina really has brought it this season. She did not play as a sophomore due to injury, but now she is back and has been a key player on this roster for USC. Tyra Ariel with the Trojans down by four. Notches a service error. The Ducks will go back up by five. That's the fourth service error for the Trojans. Oregon only has one. Service errors have been a thorn in USC side all year. Now up to 308 service errors on the season. Famwina gets set up. Collier will send it out of bounds. The Trojans get the point. Collier looking for kill number five, but won't be able to get it on the attack error. Still a tight first set. USC down by four. Paisley Douglas coming back into the game for USC to serve. The freshman knocks it over. High hit there from Oregon, but a trio of Trojans are there to block it. And they secure the block on Collier. Oregon tried the same thing twice, sending it to that wall of Trojans, and USC knocks it down. Yeah, USC really needed that block there for their first of the day, actually. Douglas sends it over, handled by Oregon. And Batenhorst not able to get a hand under it. Oregon has done a really good job so far of finding open court, not really giving the Trojans much opportunity. That was a prime example on that hit from Owobete. De Los Reyes back at the service line. Just ekes in in front of the back line. Paisley Douglas was back there, opted to not try to get it. And a timeout from USC. Brad Keller calls that. The Trojans trail by five and the Ducks are only five points away from winning this first set. Pickle, what do the Trojans have to do to come back? You know, for USC, they're gonna really need to step it up on defense. As we've just discussed, Oregon is really great at taking advantage of open space on USC's court and being a powerhouse team 
on both offense and defense. As we saw, USC just had their first block. However, they are leading Oregon in total attacks. So it's key here for USC to really bring it up on defense. As we get a look at USC head coach Brad Keller, it's coming in for next year. Yes, definitely exciting to think about, you know, the future of this team. Obviously, we're pretty deep in the season now, but just thinking ahead to the future is great to hear about these new recruits. Delos Reyes back at the service line with her ducks up by five. Douglas the first to touch it. Ford nearly gets blocked. Famwina. A long rally here in the first set. Douglas hits it high. Tuninga will set up Famwina. And that'll find open court. Attempted block there by the Ducks. Goes unsuccessful. And the Trojans crawl within four points of Oregon. Trio of Ducks there trying to block Famwina. But unsuccessfully. Gray Gosnell back at the service line. And a service ace. All smiles on Gosnell's face after that service ace. Especially, you know, given USC kind of accumulating service errors, it's always, you know, a confidence boost for a team to have, you know, an ace coming after four errors so far in just the first set. Gosnell, the only Trojan coming into this one with more service aces than errors. And a block there from the Trojans. Leah Ford there in the middle. Trojans back within two. And a timeout forced by Oregon. Trojans have some momentum. Three straight points for USC. And now the Trojans only trail by two here in set number one. Talk about a momentum shift, Pickle. Whatever that timeout caused for USC, it's been working. Three straight points for the Trojans. Absolutely, and I think you know these times to regroup as a team can really kind of shift the energy, shift the dominance a little bit. You know, we've seen both these teams have runs, flipping the script both ways. So as we're kind of nearing the end of this first set, it should be exciting to see who can kind of be the dominant team and come up on top with, you know, probably just a few minutes left here as Oregon is just five points away from a first set win. And USC barely trailing behind just by two points. Again, a set of vital importance. Obviously, you want to win every set that you possibly can, but the Ducks have a particularly strong record when they win the first set. Now up to 18 and 0 when the Ducks win their first set. So USC wanting to change that by stealing away the first set. Gosnell will get another opportunity. Her Trojans on a 3-0 scoring run. Gosnell knocks it over. Morris the first to touch it. Collier tries to get it down, but Trubin with an impressive defensive play, and Ford capitalizes. Celebrations from USC. Trojans are within one. Quite a momentum shift for USC, just within one point here. It is anybody's set at this point. Gray Gosnell will get another opportunity. 4-0 scoring run for USC. Ducks on the offensive. And that will land in bounds for Oregon. Ducks go back up by two. Four points away from taking the first set. Now Kristen Klein goes back to serve. Knocks it over. Douglas the first to touch it. Batenhorst nearly gets a kill there. Trubin, yet another impressive dig. Batenhorst knocks it down. The Trojans are feeling it. You can see it with their 
post point celebrations. They still trail by one, but have some momentum here. Absolutely, Ali Batenhorst securing her fifth kill of the day, and we are nearing the end of this first set here. Gala Trubin back to serve. Douglas with the dig. Ariel just has to hit it over. Trubin with yet another one. Batenhorst hits it, but Collier is there. Collier with an attempt. Trubin keeping it alive. Gosnell not able to save it. Off the deflection, Oregon gets the point. And the Ducks are now three away from taking this first set. And we'll Bete back to the service line. Running start, gets it over. Tuninga sets up Ariel, and the Trojans get blocked. It's gonna be mentally here as they're only, you know, behind by three, but coming into crunch time in this first set for sure. Brad Keller was just seen there talking to his associate head coaches. So we get another look at the Oregon huddle. It's Mimi Collier leading the way with five kills. Kristen Klein with 10 assists. Mackenzie Morris with seven digs. On the USC side, Ali Batenhorst with five kills, quickly followed by Adanya Famwina. Four kills for her. Five digs out of Gala Trubent. Three digs from the true freshman, Paisley Douglas, who's on the court for USC. Mia Tuaninga with nine assists. Oh, Obete. Hits it over. Douglas the first to touch it. Batenhorst gets blocked. Gosnell not able to save it. And Oregon on the brink of a first set win. Could smell doom for the Trojans. Again, the Ducks are 18-0 when they win the first set. And they're one point away from doing that again here at Galen Center. Douglas with the dig. Tuninga sets up Batenhorst and a block will end it. One of the best blocking teams in the Big Ten. And the Ducks will take set number one. USC will try to change history. Oregon is 18-0 when it wins the first set, but we will take a quick break here on Big Ten plus the Ducks. It's a little bit more of a diminished role for Anyanwu. Mia Tuaninga will get us started here in the second frame. Knocks it over, it's a good hit, but Collier the first to touch it. Collier with a large tap over. Trubin sets up Batenhorst but gets blocked. Tuaninga keeps it alive. A little more discombobulation on offense. Trubin with the pancake. And Batenhorst able to get it past Morris. Good hit there from Batenhorst but it was set up by that defensive effort from Gala Trubin. She's been on fire. Absolutely. Six digs to her name. Yeah, looking at the replay, as we can see, you know, when Batenhorst is set up well by her teammates, there is no stopping her offensively. Tuninga gets it over. Big hit here. And yet again, Noemi Glover able to find open court. She's done that a couple times where no USC defender has been able to even have an attempt at getting it off the floor. Set number two, tied at 1-1. Mackenzie Morris knocks it over, but that will go out of bounds. Service error from the Ducks. Only the Ducks' second service error. Trojans had four in the first frame. Allie Batenhorst will look to respond. Morgan, a little bit of misdirection attempted there from Oni Ofebu, but hits the net with the attack error. Two straight points for USC. Trojans looking to make it three. And gets blocked there. Collier has looked really strong 
against the Trojans, obviously in that first matchup, but now here at Galen Center. USC had a stout lead at the early goings of the first set. Trojans have a lead here. Not like it to eke away. Morgan with the serve. Trubin keeping it alive. Trubin not able to save that one. She came flying in. It's not able to get a good hand under it. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of long rallies here, which is really just a testament to how competitive this game has been, is going, and it just shows, you know, this competitiveness we're seeing on both sides of the net. Isabel Patterson with the serve. Famwina not able to get the kill. Collier with an attempt and gets it past Trubin. She's been flying around, disappointed in herself for not being able to get that one, but that might have been the craziest save ever if she was able to get there. You see her diving to her left. Yeah, Trubin leads the team in digs so far this season and is 16th in the Big Ten in digs per set. Another dig there for Trubin and Peach gets the kill past Mackenzie Morris. So we're seeing two of the best liberos in the Big Ten here, Morris and Trubin. Morris with seven digs, Trubit with six. Gala Trubin will get a serve. Collier gets it past Trubin. Collier keeps hitting that spot. She's on the left side of the Oregon net, keeps sending it to the opposite end of the Trojan court, and it's been successful. Eight kills for her. Morty with the service ace, knocks it over. Famwina, miscommunication there. And Kristen Klein capitalizes. Famwina tried to hit it up, but inadvertently hit it back over to the Oregon side of the net. Collier knocks it over. Famwina keeping it alive. Famwina gets set up and gets blocked. In the middle is Oobete. The Ducks have done a really good job at blocking Trojan attacks. Absolutely, I mean blocking is really the story of this Oregon team. Had double digit blocks against Northwestern, doing it again here today. And a point goes to Oregon. Four zero scoring run for the Ducks forces USC to call a timeout. Yet another set where the Trojans had a lead, a slim lead, but a lead nonetheless. But Oregon goes up by four here in the second frame after a four zero scoring run. Trojans are hitting negative in this set. We get another look at Madison Peach's attempt. That violation there, you can see it shaken all the way around. Helping it give Oregon an eight to four advantage. The Ducks already taking set number one. And as you might expect, Ducks are 13 and oh when they win the first two sets entering this week. And so, uh, as you mentioned, Thomas, going back to that hitting percentage, I mean, Oregon holding USC to a negative hitting percentage and then Oregon absolutely dominating with a 444 hitting percentage so far in this second set, dominating in points, kills, and blocks as USC hasn't had a single block this set. Yeah, the second set, the Ducks have been stellar and we mentioned it in the pregame show. The Ducks have a stellar mark when they hit well and a bad mark when they don't. And that just makes sense when it comes to volleyball. But Oregon playing the part, trying to take down the ranked USC Trojans, come away unscathed. 4-0 scoring run for the Ducks. Mimi Collier will head back to the service line. 
Oregon already with eight blocks today. Looking for more. Tuninga sets up four, but she gets it past the blockers. Trojans will have to use misdirection if they hope to get it around the Duck Trio up front. That one worked out well for Leah Ford. Got another look at that hit from the redshirt freshman. And now the true freshman, Paisley Douglas, back to serve. Just gets it over the net. Good setup there and a kill for Owobete. Every time the Trojans seem to get momentum, Oregon does a good job of snatching it back. Maya Dolos Reyes, the junior defensive specialist, goes back. Ducks up by four. That one will go out of bounds. Service error from the Ducks. And that's going to be Oregon's first service error of the set here, as USC, you know, in this game has been leading in those service errors which is something that has plagued this team, as we mentioned earlier, and they're going to need to stay consistent in the realm of serving. Three service errors for the Ducks overall, four for the Trojans. Gray Gosnell will look to avoid that fate here with her team down by three. Big hit by Collier, and the Trojans send it out of bounds on the attempted block. Mimi Collier... Seems to be the Trojan killer here. Nine kills, and we're only in set number two. Douglas the first to touch it. Leah Ford gets an attempt, but partially tipped by the Ducks. And a good hit there by Noemi Glover, who's been really quiet today, it seems, but every time she attacks, seems to go well. Kristen Klein knocks it over, but it'll go out of bounds. Like I mentioned a little bit ago, Noemi Glover with four kills on a 500 hitting percentage. Really good mark for her. Yeah, Glover's fourth on the team in kills and third in block, so she's really solid across the board on that team. As Leah Ford notches service ace number three for the Trojans this afternoon. USC trailing by three. Leah Ford looking to command a run. Six foot four, redshirt freshman middle blocker. Nearly gets another one there. Morris keeping it alive. Collier will just have to hit it over. Douglas the first to touch it. Ariel not able to get it over the net. And Oregon here just continuing with this dominant offensive play. Up by four once again, kind of been the story of this game so far. Actually, Anyanwu on that attack error from the Trojans. Sends it back to Oregon. Tuninga sets up Batenhorst, who sends it well behind the back line. No deflection there. And the Oregon Ducks have yet another five-point lead over the Trojans. Awobete, transfer from UCSB, hits it over. Gosnell, Anyanwu gets blocked by Collier and a Colby Neal in the middle. Ducks have nine blocks on the afternoon, at three and a half alone in this set. Douglas with the dig. Batenhorst will get a try. Collier, this time she's the one that gets blocked by the Trojans. Breaks up a 3-0 scoring run for Oregon. Trojans do still trail by five. But one of their best servers on this roster, Mia Tuaninga. To the back line and just ekes out of bounds, a hard hitter, but it can't find open court, at least open court in between the lines. Absolutely, and you know, seeing Oregon go on this run here is gonna be crucial for USC to, you know, kind of maintain some mental stability here as they are starting to fall behind. 
As there was a service error from Mackenzie Morris. Trojans get the serve back. It's Allie Batenhorst. Knocks it over. Collier gets a chance, and Batenhorst can't handle it. Collier, one of the hardest hitters in the country, shows it off again. Get another look at it. Batenhorst, one of the best diggers on this team. Second on the team in digs, heading into tonight, but not able to handle that one. Anyanwu gets a chance and sends it past a couple of Oregon defenders. Anyanwu is fifth on the team in kills. Um, only played in one set in their previous game against Wisconsin, but here she is with a strong kill against the Ducks to really bring hopefully some momentum for USC side. On Yan Wu, that was her first kill of the day. Trubin sends it towards the back line. Big hit here, but that will also go behind the line. Point goes in USC's favor on that attack error from Ofebu. Trubin gets another opportunity. Two straight points for the Trojans, looking for more. Another attempt here from Ofebu. This one will land in bounds and give the Ducks a point. Both of these teams are pretty equal in attack attempts this set so far. But as we're seeing, you know, this hitting percentage on Oregon is just skyrocketed above the Trojans. 438 for the Ducks this set. Morris with the dig. And Morris will just have to hit it over. Trubin sets up to Aninga, Ford with an attack, and that one will go as a kill. Isabel Patterson not able to handle that hard hit. Trojans trail by four, but get the serve back. This one has been really back and forth across the last couple of points. Paisley Douglas. Back to serve. She's getting a lot of playing time today for USC. Collier knocks it over the blocks, but Trubit comes flying in. Another long rally here between the Trojans and the Ducks, but it's Ofebu who ends that point with the kill. The Ducks have been feeding Ofebu the redshirt senior middle blocker on that right side a lot in this set. Yeah, I know Febu is not only a strong, you know, offensive player, but also defensive. So, you know, utilizing her as a weapon, both offensively and defensively, has been key for this Oregon side so far. And she's really rising to the occasion today. Long rally here. Batenhorst sets up Famwina, but the Ducks block it. And as you notice, I mean, USC is doing a really great job of setting up clean attacks. It's just this blocking performance on the Oregon side this USC team seems to not be able to compete with. A high serve there. And misdirection to Aninga does her classic setter spike and gets a kill for the Trojans. You see it once in a while from Tuaninga. And that one worked to perfection. Kill number 64 on the season for the senior setter out of Long Beach, California. Now Gray Gosnell hits it over. Good dig there from Oregon. Gosnell matches that. Ford knocks it down past Mackenzie Morris. Trojans down by four yet again. Gosnell with the serve. Oregon on the offensive. Douglas not able to handle that one. Another kill for Owobete. 
who was the Big West Player of the Year last year for the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos. Kristen Klein, the redshirt freshman, back to the service line. A little awkward play there, and the Ducks capitalize. Noemi Glover yet again with a kill. Yeah, Glover fourth on Oregon in kills and third in blocks. So that's just another one of those key versatile players that Oregon's really been able to utilize throughout the season and this game in particular. As we can, you know, look back at some incredible offensive plays here that Oregon's been having. Now, Emmy Glover, kill number five, 571 hitting percentage. The Ducks are up by six. USC called a timeout. This is desperate hours for the Trojans. We mentioned it earlier. Oregon has a very good mark when it wins its first two sets, which makes sense, 13-0. That's the record the Ducks have coming into this week. Actually now one and four after that loss to Wisconsin. So they do have the one win. That was against Michigan. Earlier this season, the Trojans secured the reverse sweep. USC will try to come back in this one, though. Tuaninga sets up Batenhorst. Big hit here, gets past Trubin. Noemi Glover with the lefty hit. Been really efficient today on that right side for the Ducks. 25 kills for Oregon to 20 for USC. Kristen Klein sends it over. Batenhorst with an attempt. Batenhorst yet again. Another long rally. Trubin with the dig. And Batenhorst sends it. No! G gets the call. From our angle, it seemed to go out of bounds. But able to get the line, and the Trojans get the point on the kill from Batenhorst. Leah Ford with a hard hitter. And Ford not able to handle that attack attempt from Colby Neal. Seems like that's kind of been the story of this game is USC, you know, not really being able to respond to these tough attacks and offensive plays that Oregon is throwing their way. Well, well Bete goes back. Gosnell with the dig, but it goes out of bounds. Set point for the Ducks. Already leading one set to nothing. Looking to win by a much larger margin than the first frame. Owobete sends it over. Gosnell able to keep it alive. Anyanwu can't get it past Morris. Trojans get one more hit. This one able to get over the wall of Ducks. And Collier will end the set. 25 to 16. Collier with yet another kill. Number 11. The Ducks go up two sets to nothing. That one able to get past Paisley Douglas. Sends us to halftime. The Trojans running back to their locker room. So an impressive performance from the Oregon Ducks so far. Looking to improve their 13-0 record when they win their first two sets. Soda, a ranked opponent. So the Ducks have done a really good job of ending things early, looking to do so again today. And if you look at both teams here, they're both attacking. I mean, USC actually leading in total attacks. This game was 69 to Oregon's 60. However, when you look defensively, Oregon leading 11.5 blocks to USC's only 3.5. And I think defense has really been kind of the difference maker as Oregon has absolutely been dominating on the defensive front. Multiple players have at least one dig for the Ducks. Six different Ducks have at least one dig. Trojans also have similar numbers in that. 
But the Ducks have 28 digs to USC's 23. We already mentioned it. We need to mention it again just because of how impressive of a career it's been for Mackenzie Morris. 11 digs on the day puts her at 2009 career digs. We will get this third set started after a brief halftime period. And well, Bete sets up a good serve. Famwina can't handle it, and the Ducks spike it down. Quick 1-0 lead for the Ducks. Owobete sends it back over. Trubert the first to touch it. Anyanwu with the big hit and gets it past Morris. Tied up at one apiece after that big hit from Anyanwu. Kill number two for the true freshman for USC. Trubin sends it over. Attempted block there from the Trojans, but the Ducks able to keep it in the offensive end, and they capitalize. Off the deflection, Oregon gets point number two of this set. Mackenzie Morris will go back to the service line. Knocks it over. Batenhorst, two to Aninga. Ford gets an opportunity and hits it down. Ford has one of the better hitting percentages for the Trojans so far today. We get another look at that hit. 444 hitting percentage for Ford. Yeah, Five only, kills to her name. Yeah, and only as a redshirt freshman, really showing just the dynamic of this USC roster, having you know veteran players and younger players really stepping up. Big hit there from Collier. Trubin trying to keep it alive. Batenhorst will just have to knock it over. Now the Ducks get a chance. Big hit. Gets past Douglas. Noemi Glover yet again. Glover, 600 hitting percentage today. Yeah, looking at the replay, just a really successful setup there for Oregon to really take advantage and find that open space on USC's side of the court. Brief one-point lead for Oregon. Isabel Patterson knocks it over. Douglas might have made a mistake, but Tuaninga does a good job. Trubin to Tuaninga for trying to get the tap down. A little bit of discombobulation, and Paisley Douglas can't save it on the pancake. Ducks up 4-2 to two now in this third set, already leading it two sets to none. Trojans would like to avoid its, their second straight sweep. Tuninga gets a kill. Yet another setter misdirection gets her second kill of the game. And Tuaninga, obviously, such a strong defensive player, but always exciting to see those defensive players really put that strength into offense as well as we just saw here with Tuaninga. Gray Gosnell will get the serve for USC. Good dig there. Collier with an attempt, and that one will be sent into the stands. Collier looking to improve on her first performance against the Trojans. Collier knocks it over. Gosnell sends it, and the Ducks capitalize. Trojans have done that a couple times, where on the reception, they immediately send it back over to the Ducks' side, and Oregon only has to slam it down because USC can't set up a block. Collier with the serve. Trubin sets up Batenhorst. That one will find open court. Trojans trail by two. And Aaliyah Ford will go back to the service line. So we get another look at that one. Really lucky hit by Batenhorst to, you know, avoid that strong blocking attempt by Oregon. Good hit there from Ford, but a high setup by Morris. This one will just go out of bounds though. Set up on that serve from Leah Ford. Mackenzie Morris shot it sky high with her dig. A 
Another good serve from Ford. Ducks able to get the kill there. Paisley Douglas not able to handle the hit. Now a two point lead for the away side. Maya de los Reyes went to Long Beach Poly High School, same high school as Riley McGinnis and Adanya Famwina. Anyanwu gets blocked, but Trubent keeps it alive. Bait Norris will get an opportunity. Another long rally between the Trojans and the Ducks, but Oregon comes out on top. Seems in every long rally, that's what the Ducks are doing, keeping their determination. Yeah, they've done a great job of staying so tough both offensively and defensively as they've almost consistently been in a lead ever since you know they took control in that first set. As Batenhorst sends it behind the back line, Attack error from the graduate transfer. But head coach Brad Keller will, will challenge that there was a touch there by Oregon on the deflection. So a challenge here in the third set. Had a couple of them in the first frame. Could be a pivotal moment here as it stands. The Ducks lead nine to five on a 3-0 scoring run, but it could shift to an 8-6 margin for USC if this is indeed a successful challenge. Definitely, and we're still early in this third set. There's still possibility for obviously anything to happen in this game, so USC is gonna try to obviously take advantage here of anything they can do to kind of get back that momentum and get some points on the board. Well, let's look at the stats of this third set as so we get a look at the Oregon huddle. Although the Trojans have a much better hitting percentage in this frame, sitting at 429, the Ducks have outdone themselves. They have a 615 hitting percentage. So even when USC seems to be playing better, the Ducks are showing why they're the number 11 team in the country. Already leading two sets to none. And have a four point lead in this third frame. Pickle, what do you think USC has to do to retake momentum and try to claw back, at least in this third set? Yeah, I think that USC is really gonna need to kind of utilize what Oregon's been doing a really great job of, which is those blocks and that strong defensive play. They're gonna need to stop this strong Oregon attack on their side, as well as offensively remain consistent and try to find you know, those open pockets, those open spaces to really get those kills and not you know, suffer to Oregon's strong defensive play. We're getting a look at the crowd here at Galen Center. It's pretty filled out this lower bowl for this Trojans matchup against the Ducks. The initial call is confirmed. Oregon gets the point. No deflection on that hit from Allie Batenhorst. The 3-0 scoring run remains for the Ducks. De Los Reyes back to the service line. She's been the commander of this 3-0 scoring run. Sends it deep, Gosnell able to handle it. Anyanwu with the high jump, and she'll end the run. Anyanwu gets the kill. Number three for her today. Mia Tuninga will get another serve. Tuninga has one service ace to her name. Good dig there by Morris. Big hit here from Collier and Shrubin not able to get a good set up to Batenhorst. Now this is something to keep an eye out for. Mia Tuininga only has 17 assists. And if this match does end in three sets, that would hurt her chances of setting the all-time career assist record. Has an opportunity for an assist here and notches it as Peach slams it down. 
Absolutely, and I think the Trojans are really starting to realize here how they need to get around that strong blocking front that Oregon puts on time and time again with a dynamic trio at the net. Batenhorst knocks it over. Ducks on the offensive. And a good slam down there. But it goes USC's way. That was another hit there from the Ducks. So the deficit goes to two. Trojans get the serve. Batenhorst knocks it over and just goes behind the back line. Service error number six from the Trojans this afternoon. Ducks have five service errors for them. Oh, well, Bete knocks it over. Batenhorst nearly gets the dig. But not able to get a good handle on it. Lead goes back up to four for the Ducks. Ducks looking for yet another sweep. They have 12 sweep wins on the year. Looking for lucky number 13. Famwina can't get the kill. A little bit of confusion there from the Trojan defense. But Famwina knocks it down, gets the kill. Yeah, Famwina in the right place at the right time. When the ball is perfectly placed for her, she definitely knows what to do with it. She has shown a pretty great performance so far this game, despite you know issues that USC has been having on their side. Gala Trubin sends it over and nearly gets an ace. But nonetheless, the Trojans get the point. Attack error there. So it's now just a small deficit for USC. And now USC moving ahead of Oregon and hitting percentage at 545 to Oregon's 389 in this third set. Good defense there from Famwina. And it's just a one point deficit now for USC. Gala Trubin and the Trojans have a 3-0 scoring run. Just gets it over the net and that'll go down as an ace. Tied ball game here in the third frame, thanks to this 4-0 scoring run from USC. Gala Trubit looking to extend it. Haven't seen a set this close in a while this game. So we're seeing much more, you know, strength, dominance on the USC side now. As that will end the scoring run. Oregon will take that point, go up 13 to 12. Ducks won set number one by five and set number two by nine. Trojans looking to steal at least one set away from the Ducks. Oregon looking for the sweep. Tuninga sets up Famwina and she gets a kill. Up to six kills on the day. Was not in the starting lineup, Famwina but she's been effective for the Trojans. Paisley Douglas back to serve. The Ducks handle it. Big hit here, but Batenhorst with the dig. Famwina looking for another kill. But the Trojans get the point nonetheless, and USC has a lead in this third set. Yeah, USC back in the lead halfway through the third set. We haven't really seen this much this game at all, so it's gonna be important for them to really capitalize on this momentum here. Douglas knocks it over. Collier able to get it around the blockers, but the Trojans able to handle it. Collier gets blocked. Famwina falls down after that impressive. New and different. And Nike defines innovation as new and different and better. Trailblazers go ahead and do what no one else has done. And I'm kind of proud of myself that I just basically don't listen. Getting us started out of the timeout. Paisley Douglas with the serve, but Oregon keeping it alive. 
Collier gets blocked. Another long rally here. Tuninga to Trubin. Famwina. Good dig there by Mackenzie Morris. And misdirection, but the Trojans somehow keep it alive. Trubin. Douglas. Trubin will just have to hit it over. Yet another good defensive showing here from the Trojans. But this one not yet over. Glover able to get the kill. What a deflating point loss for the Trojans after so many highlight plays. But the Ducks come out on top. Yeah, Trojans did a much better job responding there as we see in the replay, really utilizing block attempts. Had such a long rally there, but couldn't quite finish it out. Noemi mean Glover with her eighth kill on the afternoon. Douglas to Tuaninga. Famwina gets it down. Famwina now up to eight kills on the afternoon, tying her with Ali Batenhorst. Trojans have a two point lead in this third set. Still a lot of volleyball left to be played at Galen Center. Gray Gosnell on to serve. Good knock there by Batenhorst. Collier with an attempt, but Trubin able to keep it alive. Galen Center crowd is loving it. Morgan looking for a big play. Trubin will send it to the stands. Point goes Oregon's way. Gala Trubin has been really, really impressive so far today. Even though that one didn't go her way, she is flying around the, the hardwood here at Galen Center. You can definitely see the USC side getting much more aggressive, realizing that this really is crunch time in this game. Batenhorst gets blocked, but Trubin keeps it alive. Ford mishandles it, and the point goes the Ducks' way. You can also feel the crowd getting a little bit more into it here. Every solid dig, every big hit, you can hear exclaims from the Galen Center crowd, even though the Trojans are down two sets to none. Mimi Collier sends it over. Another mistake there from the Trojans. But no harm, no foul just yet. Batenhorst to an Inga. A little bit of back and forth play here, and the Trojans get the kill to retake the lead in the third frame. Yeah, seeing a much more competitive third set here as the Trojans have had much more opportunities with the lead. Although it hasn't lasted quite long, they're once again here with the lead in the third set. Trojans with a much better hitting percentage in this frame. And gets another big kill there from Favor on Yanwu. Now a two point lead for USC. Seven points away from extending this to at least a fourth set. Leah Ford barely gets it over the net. And a good block there from Anyanwu and Batenhorst. USC having a bit of a run here, really accumulating some blocks and, you know, putting things together. But now, you know, it's time for both teams to kind of regroup here and see how they're going to finish out this set. Oregon calls a timeout after that 3-0 scoring run for USC. Trojans lead 19 to 16. And again, Oregon's up two sets to nothing, but the Trojans have looked really strong in this third frame, 385 hitting percentage. While Oregon only has mustered a 194 mark in this third set. Get a look at Tyra, Ariel, Gala Trubent, London Weejay, Riley McGinnis. Gala Trubent has looked good out there, has hit double digit digs yet again. Now has double digit digs in three of her last four matches. Double digit digs now in 16 matches on the year. Timeout still going on. Get a look inside the Trojan huddle. 
If you're in the huddle, Pickle, and you're a coach, what are you telling this Trojan squad? I mean, I think just maintaining this momentum that we're clearly seeing USC has been able to accumulate here. I mean, they're up by three points here. Very limited time left in this third set, nearing the end of it. Definitely, as a coach, he's definitely probably just telling him we need to finish this one out strong. It's still anyone's game technically at this point, and you know the momentum that it could bring this team with a win in this set leading into the end of the rest of the match. We will resume a play here at Galen Center. Trojans on a 3-0-1 run, leading 19 to 16. Aaliyah Ford goes to the service line. And that's a service error. Saw an example of a timeout squashing momentum for the Trojans. We'll see if USC is able to snatch it back. Oregon trails by two. Gosnell the first to touch it. Anyan Wu nearly gets a kill, but the Ducks able to recuperate. And a good kill there from Ali Batenhorst. Now into the 20s in their point total. We get another look at that one. Just a strong hit there by Batenhorst. Just able to get it around the blocking duo for Oregon. And Batenhorst rising ahead of her total kills from last game where she only had eight. And a service ace from Mia Tuaninga puts the Trojans with a four point lead and a four points away from taking this third set, forces another timeout from the Oregon side. Trojans have some momentum in this third set. Again, they do have one reverse sweep on the season against Michigan. Oregon is a little bit of a different beast. The Ducks are ranked number 11 in the country and have not lost yet this season when they've won the first set or won the first two sets. Another look at that service ace from Tuaninga. That moves it up to five service aces for the Trojans so far this game. And you know we're seeing a lot stronger attacking on USC's side this set as well really limiting their attack errors to only two so far to Oregon's five. Meanwhile, Oregon is leading in attacks with 37 to USC's 28. However, USC at this point in this set is has a higher hitting percentage with 393 to Oregon's 189. So it should be exciting to see, you know, Trojans only four points away from taking this set. But, you know, Oregon has been known to go on runs as we've seen throughout this game. So it should be really interesting to see who can really come out on top here at the very end of this third set. Back to the service aces issue. Mia Tuaninga now up to two on the day. That sets her at 155 in her Trojan career. Only six away from tying April Ross for third most service aces in Trojan history. Looking for another one here. Won't get it, at least on that serve. Batenhorst trying to knock it back over. Collier able to save it. Gosnell to Ininga and Batenhorst. Big hit here, but that goes. Just lands in bounds. Trojans are incensed. No, Gala Trubin on the court saying it landed in. But head coach Brad Keller, despite the request from his team, will pull out the challenge card. Yeah, Gal I think once you get down the line in these games, it's like really important to look through everything that could potentially, you know, be a challenge. And with USC being so close, to you know, winning this third set because it's make it or break it for them. I think it's useful to you know pull out every card you have as a coach. And we saw Gala Trubin trying to discourage head coach Brad Keller from pulling the challenge card. I don't know if he saw that request or what, but he did pull the challenge card. 
We'll get another look at that one. Part of the story is it did hit the official. It's hard to tell from that angle. You can't really see the back yeah. corner there. It's gonna be a close call for sure. As the review is already over, point does go to Oregon. Did indeed fall in bounds, say the officials. Trojans still lead by three. No challenges remaining for USC. Galen Center getting loud now here as Kristen Klein sends it over. Trubin the first to touch it. Anyan Wu gets dug up by Morris. Trubin again. Tuninga sets up the lefty Peach. Collier from the back line gets a kill. Now up to 18 on the afternoon. Again, had 17 kills against the Trojans in their first matchup. Now up to 18 on the day. She's been really, really impressive. Batenhorst to Aninga and Batenhorst again. To Aninga just slaps it up. Anyanwu just has to tip it over. Somehow finds open court after a failed touch there from the Ducks. Trojans, a three point lead, three points away from taking this third set. Yeah, that was just a mistake there on the Oregon side. And, you know, both teams, as we're in crunch time here, are really going to need to try to stay consistent offensively and defensively. Oregon on the offensive. Trojans able to keep alive that hit from Collier. Famwina gets blocked, but the Trojans able to stay in it. A tap down there. Wow, what a long rally here. Could be a pivotal moment in this match. And the Ducks come out on top. Off of the hit from Owobete. She'll get the serve here. Again, it just seems that every single long rally, Oregon comes out on top, snatches momentum back. 10 kills for Owobete. She sends the serve to Batenhorst. Famwina gets a kill. The Trojans now two points away from extending this to a fourth set. Yeah, and Trojans just put in Leah Ford in for on Yanwu. Gala Trubin doesn't have much of a run up on her serve. Famwina over to Tuaninga. Bait and horse from the back line. Gets blocked. Gala Trupin not happy with herself after letting that get by her. This one will come down to the wire. We haven't had a set closer than five points today. Only a two point deficit. Morris sends it over. Famwina to Peach. Famwina gets another attempt. And the Ducks not able to keep it in play. Set point for the Trojans. And the Galen Center comes to their feet. Madison Peach comes off. Paisley Douglas comes in. Looking to close it out here. Oregon did have a couple of runs to close out each of the first two sets. So the Trojans need to be careful here. Big hit, but Douglas keeps it alive. Tuninga sets up Falmuina. And a tap down there from Ofebu. Ducks get the possession back, trailing by two. Only need three more points to close out this match. It'll be up to Isabel Patterson. But first, a timeout from the USC, just to talk things over. Still have that timeout, might as well use it yep. in the late stages. Both teams extremely close here to victory in the third set. Looking at the replay here, 
once again an extremely strong offensive play on the Oregon side. And you know, USC only one point away from winning this third set, something they have not seen in at this point two. And the Trojans have an opportunity to send us to at least a fourth set. Will be a fun ending to this one in any scenario. Let's take a look at the stats from this frame. Trojans have a 317 hitting percentage. Ducks have a 229 mark on that stat. 16 kills for the Ducks, 16 kills for the Trojans. But it's been the Trojans two blocks. So we take a look at Mia Tuaninga, 25 assists for her, five digs, and a strong 667 hitting percentage. Four blocks to her name as well. Trojans looking to close it out here. Oregon not able to keep it alive. The Trojans extend this one. Down two sets to nothing. Now extend us to a fourth frame. We will take a quick break here on Big Ten Plus as we take a look at one of the highlights. Trojans trail two sets to one. We'll see you back for the fourth frame. If you're in the Trojan huddle, you're thinking, why not extend it to five? And we will get action restarted here to get a look at the USC song leaders. They have double duty today. There's the women's volleyball game going on right now. And then the men's basketball game later tonight here at Galen Center. So the Galen Center crew will set up the basketball hoops. It's gonna be a little bit of a tight turnaround. USC facing off against Cal at 6.30 on Big Ten Network. Batenhorst gets us started. Trubin sets up Falmuina. And a block goes out of bounds. The Trojans get us started with a one nothing lead in the fourth set. Yes, USC keeping the momentum going from that third set. And here we have leader Ali Batenhorst coming up to serve. 10 kills for Batenhorst. And that will go down as a service ace for the Trojan. Seeing a bit of a script flip as Oregon unable to respond there and leading up in aces for USC side. USC with six service aces on the afternoon. Ducks looking for a big hit. Trubin not able to keep it alive. Owobete notches yet another kill. One of two Ducks with double digit kills so far today. Yeah, taking a look at the replay there. Just USC trying to respond, but couldn't quite get it across. And that's a service ace for Owobete. Ducks have five on the afternoon. And Owobete is the leader. She has three of the five. Tied back up at two. Batenhorst first to touch it. Anyanwu tries to tap it down and Gets it past the Oregon blockers. Trojans retake the lead. And that's been a s familiar theme so far today. The Trojans have done a good job of getting early leads. Saw that in each of the first two sets, although they ended up dropping it. Trojans will look to carry on that momentum. Collier trying to get it started in the fourth set. Baton Horse with the big hit from the line. Batenhorst up to kill number 11. Batenhorst doing what she does best. When it is set up for her, she is on fire with those kills. Gala Trubin knocks it over, and that goes as a service ace. Trojans have been racking up the aces in this fourth frame. Definitely seeing a much more competitive game in this set and the past set as USC is really kind of finding themselves here offensively and defensively. And yet another service ace from the Trojans. 3-0 scoring run goes to 4-0 scoring run. 
forces a timeout from Oregon. Strubin with back-to-back -back service aces to give the Trojans a 6-2 lead. Trubin with three service aces on the afternoon. Trojans have three service aces of their eight in this fourth set alone. And USC only has six points. Let's get another look at Batenhorst. Big hit, another one from Anyanwu right there. Now, how do the Trojans carry this momentum on for the rest of the set, Pickle? Yeah, I think they've, you know, really kind of come together as a team here and kind of figured some things out. And it seems like this is just something that's continuing on as they finally sort of, I guess you could say, like figured out what they were lacking almost, which I think was just this inability in the beginning of the game to really respond. But now they're kind of being the ones with the power on offense, forcing Oregon to almost struggle to respond. So it's definitely exciting to see this script kind of flip here and see kind of both teams in these situations of how are we going to respond to the other team. It's gonna be important for USC to carry on its momentum. Again, we've seen it already today. The Trojans have blown early leads. Did a good job of winning set number three, but it's still a lot more work to do if they want any chance at a reverse sweep. Trojans have done a good job trying to claw back. We could have seen them fold in that third set, but USC has done a good job staying strong. And I think that's also such a big testament to mental game and mental toughness is you know, not giving up and being able to really stay out there and figure things out as a team. And the string of service aces ends with a service error. Yet another time that an Oregon timeout squashed the momentum for the Trojans. Now Mackenzie Morris with 14 digs to her name today gets the serve. Famuina not able to get that deflection. Two straight points for Oregon. Morris gets another opportunity. Ford not able to get the tap down. This one finds the open floor though for Famuina. Trojans up by three. Yeah, Famuina being such a leader on offense really this game, finding those openings that those Trojans were struggling to find early on, but it seems she's really, you know, had some great vision down the stretch in this game. Paisley Douglas onto the floor for USC. And the Trojans are successful with the block. Ofebu was trying to play with some misdirection. That goes unsuccessful for Oregon. Oregon calls a timeout. So a couple of quick timeouts from the Ducks. Trojans lead here eight to four in set number four. Again, we mentioned it earlier. The Ducks have a really good mark when they finish their matches in three or four sets. And they are three and one in set number five this year. But they've just been so dominant in the early goings. So this is an important set for the Ducks as it is for the Trojans. Absolutely, and on both sides of the net, consistency is going to be crucial for both of these teams. It's gonna, whoever ends up on top is gonna be the team that can keep the momentum going and stay consistent with play. Whoever falls here is going to end up falling in this game. So another timeout early in this fourth frame. So although the Ducks don't have as good of a record in five set games as they do in other types of matches. The Trojans have struggled in five sets this year. They do have a four and two mark, but they've dropped each of their last two five set matches. That is what USC will need to have happen if it hopes to win. With the Trojans trailing at two sets to one, they need to force at least a fifth set. Absolutely, and you know, they're up by four. 
at this point, but as you've talked about, what has kind of plagued this team is those timeouts. It really gives the other team an opportunity to kind of start and gain some momentum. Paisley Douglas will look to squash that strategic timeout here. And point goes to Oregon. A fault there for the Trojans. Gives the Ducks a point. So yet another time where a timeout from the Oregon head coach goes successfully. Oregon with the serve. Batenhorst the first to touch it. To an Inga. Yet another setter spike. He's done that multiple times today. He's looking really good on that offensive play for the Trojans. Absolutely. To an Inga really showing why she was this Trojan to watch here today. Gray Gosnell coming on to serve. Big hit from Collier, and off the deflection. Gets another kill, up to 19 on the afternoon. The Trojan killer, Mimi Collier, keeps on doing it. Has 10 digs as well, she's up to a double-double. Gosnell, two to Aninga, Baton Horse with the chance, and Collier not able to get a dig that time. Baton Horse comes out on top. Collier now with her seventh double-double on the season. She leads the team in that stat. Morris the first to touch it. Opportunity here goes the Ducks way after a little bit of a delay on the hit from Ofebu. De Los Reyes will get the serve for the Ducks. Down by three. Douglas to Tuaninga. Baton Horse with another opportunity, but Collier able to snatch that one up. And a good hit for Oregon, but it goes out of bounds. Trojans get point number 11. Get your slushies at 7-11 time in the fourth set. USC up by four. Yeah, USC really kind of flipping the game here, being the one dominating as we have to Aninga, but unfortunately with a service air there for her. Ducks now trail just by three. They've done a good job of being resilient when they've been trailing. Looking to do so again here. Kristen Klein will get an opportunity. Trubin. Up to Tuaninga, Baton Horse with an attempt, but Morris able to dig it up. Trojans keeping it alive off of that dig from Peach. Big hit here, but it goes out of bounds from Colby Neal. Trojans get their lead back up by four. Good move there by Trubin. She was considering hitting that but moved over to her left to make sure that didn't deflect off of her as it was going out of bounds. Collier with the first touch. Big hit here. That one gets past Trubin from Owobete. 12 kills for her, and she gets the serve. Galen Center crowd getting into it here. Batenhorst, low hit, but Tuaninga able to recover. And the Trojans get another point. Famwina. And Sets now up. we're kind of seeing the reverse here of Oregon really kind of struggling to respond. Obviously having many attack attempts, not quite as many as USC in this set, but having many more attack errors than USC, which is just a testament to, you know, USC being really strong, consistent, and Oregon not quite being able to respond on offense. 
Oregon with a 100 hitting percentage. Trojans with a much better mark in this fourth frame, but that will help the cause. The Ducks, Mimi Collier gets another kill. Now up to 20 on the day for Mimi Collier. Yes, you heard that right, 20 kills. She has the Trojans number. Looking for another win against USC. Peyton Horst the first to touch it. Peach with an opportunity. Big hit here from Glover. But a fault called on USC. The Ducks get the point. Trojans won set number three by three points. And this fourth set is shaping up to be a very close one as well. Trubent nearly hits it over there. Trojans able to keep it alive. And USC gets the point. The Trojans have some momentum here. 14 to 11 lead, Paisley Douglas will come in. We've seen that decision a lot. We get another look on that block from Leah Ford. Paisley Douglas comes in to serve whenever it's Madison Peach's turn. Brad Keller likes to serve from the true freshman. It's a good one there. Glover nearly gets it down. Batenhorst able to keep it alive. And there's a good block. Haven't seen that much as of late from Oregon, but the Ducks return to their blocking ways. Yeah, Oregon definitely kind of lacking there for a set defensively, but it seems like just there was kind of a glimpse of how they really started this game, and we'll be interested to see if they can really bring that part of their game back. A service error from the Ducks. Trojans up by three. Gray Gosnell will come in to serve as we get a look at that service error. Just out of bounds there. Right behind the back line. Now USC has an opportunity. Nearly drops it in there for an ace. Douglas sets up Batenhorst, but another block. This one from Oni Ofebu. Both teams keeping it unbelievably competitive as we keep seeing this really slim margin of points. Just two USC just two points ahead of Oregon here halfway through this set. Trojans don't want the Ducks to get back to their blocking ways. That'll be good for the cause as Allie Batenhorst knocks it past Mimi Collier. Trojans again up by three. Last couple of points have been back and forth. Leah Ford will look to carry on a run. Big hit here, but Ford able to handle it. Does send it back over to Oregon's side. Douglas with the dig. We'll have to see who got last touch. And the Trojans get the point. Battle at the net between Owobete and Tuaninga. Tuaninga comes out on top. Good hit there from Ford. Ford keeping it alive. Batenhorst gets set up and finds open court. The Trojans looking strong here in the fourth set. Now on a 3-0 scoring run. Two kills for Allie Batenhorst, one for Tuaninga on this run. Once again, Allie Batenhorst really coming out strong offensively as she does best. Gosnell with a good defensive showing. Batenhorst with an opportunity, but Collier with the dig. Finds open court. Oh, well, Bete does. Stops that run for USC. Trojans still lead by four. USC bench celebrating with Leah Ford who comes off the court. Maya Dulos Reyes from Long Beach, California sends it over. Douglas. Two to Aninga. Bait Norris with an opportunity off the deflection. Gets the point. This has been Allie Batenhorse's 
fourth frame. Absolutely, and Batenhorst is the kind of player who USC really counts on in every single game, and you know, to see her not scoring as much as she normally does kind of at the beginning of this game was definitely something that set the team back for sure as she is an offensive weapon for this team. Trojans looking for some momentum, but the high flying Oobete knocks it down. Four point deficit for the Ducks. Yeah, and Oobete coming off her season high 20 kills from that Northwestern match where she really dominated in later sets. Oobete has really been heating it up as of late for the Ducks. A good block there, this time by Noemi Glover. Again, the Trojans really do not want to see the Ducks getting back to their blocking ways. That, that's when they were most dominant in the first couple sets. Gosnell to Tuaninga. Peach with a chance, goes through the block, and the Trojans get a point. Now, mind you, Oregon had six and a half blocks in the first set, five in the second, only one and a half in the third, but the Ducks do have two in this frame. Oh, well, Bete with yet another kill. I don't know if I see somebody jump as high as Owobete when she's jumping up to lay down a swing. Looking really impressive there for Oregon. Up to 15 kills. Batenhorst to Tuaninga. Famwina not able to get it past Morris. A block unsuccessful for Oregon. Goes out of bounds, and the Trojans, how about that? Four point lead, four points away from sending us to a fifth set. Yeah, Oregon not being quite as consistent with their superpower, the blocking, as you've been mentioning here, Thomas. And interesting to see, you know, USC really kind of take the lead with blocking later down the stretch of the game. Famwina. Not able to get this one on open floor. Collier with an attempt. And off the deflection, it gets the point. Collier up to 21 kills. Collier is the team's leading killer this season. No surprise that she's leading the Ducks today. Batenhorst to Tuaninga. And a good block there from the duo of Noemi Glover and Ofebu. The Trojans call a timeout. They've seen their four point lead dwindle to two. This is an important spot as Oregon has two straight points. How do you think USC needs to close this out if they want to force a fifth set? I think, you know, USC cannot fall back here. They have the momentum. They're two points ahead. They need to stay strong to finish this set out if they want to, frankly, stay in this game. As, you know, Oregon is not far behind here. They're only two points behind USC. USC, you know, four points away from victory in this set. But obviously, Oregon very, very close to victory overall in this game. So it's going to be critical for obviously both teams to really stay in there and not fall short. The Trojans did a good job of avoiding the sweep. And they have the advantage here in the fourth frame. We've already seen a reverse sweep here at Galen Center. Again, Trojans over the Michigan Wolverines. USC attempting to do it again. They're closing in on forcing that fifth set. But again, Oregon has not lost when it wins the first two frames. Trojans do have the one win. And Oregon also won in four sets in their past game against Northwestern. And it's looking almost pretty similar here with strong offense. And, you know, they had 14 total team blocks in that game and very balanced attack with those three players. So interesting to see if 
that'll happen again today or if USC will really test them here. Mackenzie Morris knocks it into the net. Service error and the Trojans are three points away. Yeah, success in the service game is going to be critical because, you know, those little points really do add up, especially when you're in crunch time in this fourth set here right now. Similar numbers. The Trojans have eight service aces and ten errors. Oregon has five service aces and seven errors. So each team has two more errors than aces. Paisley Douglas knocks it over. Oregon looking for... A little bit of misdirection. Ariel, pancake from Mackenzie Morris, keeps it alive, but Trubin gets a good dig of her own. And a block there from the Ducks. It's been that duo all day long. Noemi Glover and Oni Ofebu. Now just a two-point deficit for Oregon. Isabel Patterson will look to start a run for the Ducks. Douglas with the dig. Another attempted block there from the Ducks. Trubin with an impressive performance, but USC not able to keep it alive. Oregon clawing back, looking to end this in four. Just a one-point game here. Both teams extremely close to taking this fourth set. And a fourth set victory for Oregon obviously would mean a win in this game. Trubit knocks it up. Baton Horse with an opportunity, but finds the hands of Morris. Tuaninga tried the setter spike, unsuccessful. Good dig there from Mackenzie Morris. And USC not able to keep it alive. The Ducks have clawed their way back. It was a 21-17 lead for USC. The Ducks have tied it at 22-22. It's been a 5-1 scoring stretch for the Ducks. Forces a timeout. So now both teams, unless it goes to extra points, only three points away from winning this fourth set will inevitably at least be tied for the closest set today. As we're gonna take a quick break on Big Ten Plus, Oregon leads two sets to one. Trojans looking to force set number five. Welcome back to Galen Center. This fourth set is going to have an exciting ending no matter what. Knotted up at 22-22. Ducks on a 3-0 scoring run. They have the momentum. Isabel Patterson knocks it over. Douglas puts it back towards the center of the court. And the Trojans come out of the timeout with the first point. 23-22, USC currently on top. Allie Batenhorst with another really strong hit there. When she, you know, lines it up well like that, it's really difficult for these other teams to respond as we've seen throughout this season. Batenhorst with 16 kills on the afternoon. Gosnell with a good serve. Collier looking to fight back for Oregon, but the Trojans able to keep it alive. Good long rally here in the late stages. And that's a good hit from Ofebu. Tied up once again with just two points to go. If you look at the replay, just could not recover there. Trubin couldn't. 
And now Oregon with the ball again, really in crunch time here. Mimi Collier will get the serve. Galen Center crowd is allowed. Tuaninga sets up four, that gets down. Trojan fans on their feet. USC one point away from sending us to a fifth set. Yeah, looking at the replay here, just found that opening perfectly. Oregon could not respond there. Morris the first to touch it. Big hit, but blocked by USC. Anyanwu sends us to a fifth set. Trojans come back from the brink. And USC has some life. What an unbelievable comeback on the USC side. Let's take a look at the replay here. Look at this, just not even a chance for a response on the Oregon side. Got the ball behind the entire team. And this, as you said, will send us into an extremely exciting fifth set. It is anyone's game here. Well, the Trojans have done it, but there's still a lot of work to be done. USC takes set number four, 25 to 23. We will take a quick break on Big Ten Plus, bring you more volleyball action when we come back. Mental confidence and keeping the game going, as we're about to see here in the fifth set, what each team will bring. Do you see the Trojans break their huddle, all smiles on their faces. They can feel a comeback coming. Would be their second reverse sweep of the season at the Galen Center. Reverse sweeps are definitely rare. As you mentioned, there's just been one before, but would be really exciting obviously for USC given where they're placed at 23 in the rankings to take down a number 11 team and obviously Oregon's gonna really need a win here as well in order to kind of keep their place in the rankings and not drop. Well, even if USC does end up losing this one, the Trojans have really shown some grit, forcing a fifth set after falling in the first two. Oregon will get us started in the fifth frame. Michelle Owobete will get the serve first. Will be an exciting conclusion to this one. Trubin gets it back closer to the net. And that one off the deflection, it goes USC's way. Famwina starts the Trojans off strong. They've done that pretty much every set so far today. It's been strong starts for USC. Now the Trojans just have to close. Gala Trubin gets the serve. Barely gets over the net, and that goes as a service ace. Another service ace for Gala Trubin, number four on the afternoon. She's been lighting it up at the service line. And number nine for USC today. Trubin won't get an ace that time. To Inga, to Trubin. Famwina taps it down. And the Trojans get another point. Three to nothing lead here in the fifth set. A timeout early on for Oregon. A necessary one again. Fifth sets only played to 15. And the Trojans started it off strong. As we get another look at this one. Famwina just sending it to her left of the Trio of Ducks trying to block her. USC has looked really strong out in this fifth set. They have the momentum. They have the crowd behind them. They have the determination. Oregon on the other side has been slipping a little bit, but they still have the star power of Mimi Collier. Michelle Owobete. Noemi Glover is in the double digit with kills. And then of course, Mackenzie Morris. Their defensive anchor. Another look at the Trojan huddle. It's Ali Batenhorst leading the team in kills with 16. Adanya Famwina, 15 kills for her. Leah Ford, Favor Anyanwu, both have seven. Gala Trubent, though, 
has been stellar. 15 digs, four service aces. And of note, Mia Tuaninga has 38 assists so far, which is good for her because she averages, coming into this one, just over 38 and a half assists per game. And that pace would give her the all-time career assist mark for USC in the second game of postseason play if the Trojans make it that far. But she still has some more game to play. Any more assists she can get would be helpful for her cause. Absolutely. I mean, Trojans obviously have the momentum here, but can't discredit that Oregon has been known to go on these scoring runs. USC was up by four in that first set, and it didn't go their way. So this set still could be anyone's game. Trubin knocks it over. Trojans nearly get a block, but they'll get it on offense now. Peach it's set up and gets the kill. Off of the deflection, Tuaninga gets another assist. Peach with the kill, and the Trojans have a 4-0 lead in the fifth set. Trubin has been the commander of this 4-0 run, but that service error will give Oregon a point and give the Ducks possession. Mackenzie Morris, the senior libero, again reached 2,000 career digs. Peach with another opportunity, but this will fly out of bounds and give the Ducks their second point in a row. Mackenzie Morris will get the serve. Famwina, Tuninga, and now Peach. Gets it over the block, but the Ducks able to keep it alive. Big hit, and on the deflection, Noemi Glover gets kill number 11. 3-0 scoring run for the Ducks. We've seen this time and time again. The Trojans have a great start to a set. The Ducks claw back. Batenhorst with the dig. Tuninga sets up Famina. And the Ducks with the kill. 4-0 scoring run. A pair of 4-0 scoring runs. One from the Ducks, one from the Trojans. And that's why we're knotted up at 4-4 here in the fifth set. Yeah, both teams just 11 points away from a victory. Very slim margin and it's gonna be key to see who can really maintain this great play. A good dig there from Mackenzie Morris. Sets up Collier. Trubin over to Famwina. And unsuccessful block from the Ducks. USC retakes the lead, five to four. What an exciting matchup we have here today, Pickle. Absolutely. And now we have the true freshman up to serve once again. Paisley Douglas at the line. Knocks it over. Collier set up. Unsuccessful block there from Leah Ford. Set number five gets tied at five. Isabel Patterson will get the serve. And a reminder, Oregon has not lost this season when it wins its first set. Trojans will look to change that today. Batenhorst with an opportunity. And a deflection messes up the Trojan defense. The Ducks find open floor and take a 6-5 lead. First lead in this fifth set for Oregon. It was a 4-0 run to start it for USC. Oregon tied it up. This is the first lead for the Ducks. Tuaninga unsuccessful with the setter spike, but Douglas with a great dig. Ducks on the offensive, and a block from Famwina. That's going to be USC's first block of this fifth set. And as you can see, when they piece it together, they are successful both teams rather, when they're able to really piece those blocks together. And now we're back and tied up again. Six to six. 
The Oregon Ducks do have the edge in blocks, but USC has quieted them a little bit on the blocks in these last couple sets. That won't matter for Ofebu though, who knocks it down. Gives the Ducks another lead. Mimi Collier will get an opportunity. Ducks up seven to six. And a service ace miscommunication there from Gosnell and Douglas. So the teams will switch sides now. Oregon up eight to six in this fifth set. Pickle, what will the Trojans have to do to climb their way back in this fifth frame? I mean, I think the Trojans are gonna need to do what they've kind of been continuing to do in these past two sets is like, keeping up this momentum, staying so strong as we saw them really rise above in hitting percentage. You know, looking back at the replay, obviously a bit of a miscommunication on that Trojan side, but just kind of staying cohesive as a team and really bringing the firepower here. Mimi Collier squashes her team's momentum with a service error. Service error number eight for the Ducks. And obviously, you know, service errors are gonna be a big thing that, you know, given this point they are in in the set, so close to a victory on both sides, they're gonna need to stay consistent and avoid errors across the board. Leah Ford with her Trojans down by one, serves it, it's a good one. Morris able to handle it though. Near block there for USC. A long rally here. Ford sends it sky high towards the Galen Center banners. Guys, now we'll just have to hit it over. Big hit from Collier, but the Trojans do a good defensive job. Ariel will just have to knock it over now. Ford sends it sky high again, gets back on the Oregon side. Battle at the net, but the point's not over yet. Batenhorst another try, and that ends it. Ali Batenhorst with another kill to tie the set back up at eight. Throughout the match, we've seen Oregon win those long rallies, but the Trojans do a good job taking that one. Oregon will call a challenge here. Maybe a potential, we'll, we'll see on the replay what Oregon's looking at. That's Matt Ulmer, again, the head coach for Oregon. And if it does go USC's way, this would be Ali Batenhorst's 17th kill of the day. Really topping her performance from the last game where she only had eight kills. Meanwhile, on the Oregon side, there are three players with double digit kills. Much more balanced roster in terms of kill count on the Oregon side, but USC really climbing here with leaders Batenhorst and Falmoina for this game. So the challenge is ongoing. Try to get a look as to what they're looking at. It certainly went off of Collier on the way out. Might be a net infraction, what they're looking at. But as it stands, the Trojans have tied the set back up at eight to eight. Oregon returns to the court. Still no indication Oh, actually, it might have not gone off of Collier. Might be looking as to whether that ball actually landed in bounds on the hit from Batenhorst. But the point goes USC's way. Whatever they were looking at, Oregon is unsuccessful. As head coach Matt Ulmer gets an explanation from the official. Leah Ford will serve it for USC. Just gets it over. Mackenzie Moore is the first to touch it. Douglas with a dig. She's been good on the defensive end today. Battle at the net, but the Trojans able to keep it alive. Douglas will just have to knock it over. Morris. A block there from Batenhorst. Lands in bounds, and the Trojans have a lead. Look at that celebration from USC. Batenhorst has put USC on top. 
Good look at that bench for the Trojans. That was a huge point for USC there, you know, breaking that tie as, you know, just six points to go toward a victory for USC. Ford gets the dig on Yanwu with an attempt. Trojans have another opportunity, but Oregon does a good defensive job. Gosnell sets up Batenhorst. Melhorst with a great defensive effort. And the Trojans get up to the double digits and points. Kill by favor on Yanwu off the deflection from Collier. Forces a timeout from Oregon. The Trojans have gone on a 4-0 scoring run after that kill from favor on Yanwu, the true freshman. Yeah, and as you can see on the Oregon side, they just could not respond. And that's going to bring, obviously, USC ahead by two, which is huge considering that this fifth set will only go to 15 points. And the Trojans are just five points away from a victory, something we may not have been saying after that second set. And that last hit from Anyanwu was ruled a block as we're. So Anyanwu sits at seven kills on the day. But the Trojans nonetheless have a 4 0 scoring run. USC in control, but the Ducks have done a great job of closing out sets throughout the match. USC only up by two, less than 30 seconds remain in this timeout. Wow, what an ending this one will come out to be. Ranked on ranked matchup, Sunday afternoon, women's volleyball, what better can you ask for on Big Ten Plus here? Absolutely, and just so exciting to see, you know, the composure of both teams as, you know, they go on runs and then they have these deficits and then also, you know, USC's just determination and grit to come back after being down two sets. Leah Ford, who's been the commander of this 4-0 scoring run, gets another opportunity here. Morris with the first touch. Big hit there, but Gosnell able to keep it alive, sends it sky high. Paisley Douglas sets up Batenhorst, who gets blocked. Point goes the way of the Ducks. Ducks now trail by one. We'll put the ball in the hands of Maya Dulos Reyes. Knocks it over. Douglas, the first to touch it. Batenhorst places it out of bounds. 10 to 10 now. Both teams in the double digits. Both teams, again, unless it goes to extra points, five points away from taking home the win. Trojans call a timeout. See, Gosnell just fell back there. Hopefully she's okay. Batenhorst just places it over the outstretched arms of Oregon's Kristen Klein, sends it out of bounds. So Oregon trying to claw its way back. Two straight points for the Ducks, squanders a lead for the Trojans. Let's take a look at the stats really quickly. USC, 118 hitting percentage in this fifth frame. The Ducks have managed a 267 hitting percentage. Overall, the Ducks have a much better hitting percentage on the afternoon, 274 overall to USC's 188. If the Trojans are able to pull this one out of a hat, it would be the first time that Oregon has lost when winning its first set this season. And also, the first time that Oregon has lost when its opponent has a hitting percentage below 200, that is if the Trojans hitting percentage stays below 200 for the rest of the game. And for this fifth set, currently Oregon is at a 267 hitting percentage while USC is at 118. So definitely close here in their hitting percentages, just like they are close here in the final minutes of this game. USC has to feel good that it's a tied fifth set 
when there's that much of a discrepancy in hitting percentage. De Los Reyes sends it behind the back line. Trojans celebrate as they now have a one point lead. The anticipation is palpable here at Galen Center. Potential reverse sweep on the line for USC. Oregon looking to get out of this trip to Los Angeles unscathed. Mia Tuaninga slings it up there. But a service error squanders whatever momentum USC just gained from the Ducks service error. 11-11, Kristen Klein will have possession for the Ducks. And a, another service error, three straight service errors, two from the Ducks, one from the Trojans. This is not the way you'd like the set to be going if you're either team, but especially if you're the Ducks. Especially just being, you know, single digit points away from a potential win here on both sides. A little bit of miscommunication. Noemi Glover does a good job. She jumps high and waits a little bit to tap that ball down. Ties the set back up. Noemi Glover with 12 kills off of a 417 hitting percentage. Olobete with a service error. Trojans are two points away from taking home the win. Yeah, it's going to be key here for both teams, you know, to try to be really consistent and accurate with their service games. Gala Trubin, she has four service aces on the afternoon. Won't get one there. Collier set up, but a good defensive play from USC. Misfire there, but it lands in bounds. Trojans didn't try to take a stab at that one. They thought it was well behind the back line, but nonetheless, we're knotted up at 13 at 13. USC has won two straight sets. Oregon won the first two. It's gonna come down to the wire. And a fault from the Ducks. The service game has been off for Oregon all afternoon long. The Trojans are one point away. In the Galen Center, you can just feel the energy in the air. Everyone on their feet, just so excited about this Trojan team. Regardless of what happens here, what an incredible comeback for them. And what a big spot for the true freshman, Paisley Douglas. Match point for the Trojans. Douglas with the serve. Morgan able to handle it. Collier knocks it down. And we are going to extra points. Got to win by two. Oregon has possession. Isabel Patterson will get the nod. Galen Center crowd is loud. Patterson slings it over. Trubent the first to touch it. Famuina. Play at the net called. And USC gets match point yet again. 15 to 14 in this fifth set. Couple of substitutions made. Gray Gosnell, a little bit of a different story than Paisley Douglas, a veteran for the Trojans, a transfer from Indiana. A graduate outside hitter could end it for USC. Handled by Oregon. Big hit from Collier. Ariel sets up Batenhorst, looking to end it, and she does! The reverse sweep from USC on the brink of defeat. USC goes down two sets to none, and the Trojans have a ranked upset in a stunning fashion. Just simply unbelievable. Look at the replay here. Ali Batenhorst saw it, smelled that victory there, and took it home for this Trojan team. What an unbelievable upset. Gonna do wonders for USC in the rankings. Not so much so for the Oregon side, but they will stay ranked. And just an incredible performance on both sides here. For how good of a blocking team Oregon is, it was a failed block that sent the ball out of bounds to give the Trojans a win. Wow, I am stunned. A reverse sweep 
for USC. The second one that the Trojans have secured at Kalen Center this year. First against Michigan and another against the ranked Oregon Ducks.